man had his greatest fall because of a food forbidden fruit and then Jesus knew Adam restored that that broken nature with a life giving food which is the Eucharist it's a beautiful connection the fallen nature is restored by the life of Jesus Jesus became that living bread he was born in Bethlehem Bethlehem is the city of bread and he was he was laid in a manger manger is, manger is the plate of cows and cattle so bread of life is kept in a plate that's a manger in the beginning because Adam and Eve fell they were disobedient they were lost they covered themselves and the first question God asked the human nature humankind is Adam where are you where are you because they are lost so God came in search of them to the garden and Jesus from heaven he came to this world because they were thrown away from the Garden of Eden to the sinful state to restore that fallen nature Jesus came to this world and then what happens God punished Adam and Eve and he said Adam that you are going to bear we are going to work work in this soil you have to labor for your earning you have to be, to be the breadwinner you have to toil it's hard work the word says who told you that you were naked have you eaten of the tree I ordered you not to eat then man answered the woman you put with me gave me the fruit from the tree and I ate it so he never accepted his fall he said because of the woman I fell so he put the allegation on the woman and Jesus what happened Jesus bore that pain and he was silent before that allegation and he bore that punishment without sin without spot or stain but then he said he was he became the culprit he became the prey who suffered that punishment and then Lord said to woman I will increase your suffering in childbearing and you will give birth to your children in pain but then Jesus had to undergo a lot of pain terrible trauma in saving in giving in giving you a new life and then what happened he said because you have listened to your wife he said to Adam to the man he said because you have listened to your wife cause be because cause be the soil because of you in suffering you will provide food for yourself your for yourself from me all days of your life with sweat on your face you will eat your bread until you return to clay since I was from clay so the friends it was from clay that you were taken so that sweat that hard labor as a punishment but then my dear friends what happens to the gospel Jesus finds the people multitude of people and they saw their pain they saw their need they saw their fatigue this he saw he saw that they are tired if, if we leave them like this they will be fainted and fallen see the compassion Jesus had and he wanted to release them ease them, ease them of their pain for that Jesus gave bread Jesus became the food for their journey journey their spiritual journey Jesus said ask the disciples to feed them the disciples disciples said from where we can buy food because we are in a barren land and then Jesus said 
what do you have? All what they had was five loaves and two fish. That's their toil. That's their, that's what exactly they earned with their sweat as man was punished by God. So that punishment, what they earned, Jesus took them to his hand and blessed them and gave it to them. That is how they were satisfied. My dear friends, this is, this denotes, it says about our story also. All, all my mistakes, all my blunders, all of what I have done, it's high time that I place them all before Jesus. Jesus sees us, the way we fall and where we suffer when we surrender, when we fall in that sinful nature. How sin devours us, kills our inner connection, and we become slaves in that pain. Devil, the evil one, enjoys it. The promise of the Lord says, He will crush the serpent's head, and the serpent will bite, bite the leg of the Savior. Jesus, that wound, caused by Satan. He killed. He had to die for her. He had to pay a price for our ransom. He had to pay that price with his own blood to save you, to strengthen you. And on the cross, the forbidden tree, on the, the cross became the tree of life. Jesus became that fruit in contrast of the forbidden fruit. Jesus became the tree, the food, the fruit of life. Forbidden tree, the sign of disobedience. And cross, the sign of obedience. And on that cross, Jesus gave his life. Each and every moment we say Mass, Holy Eucharist, that altar becomes the Calvary, where Jesus giving himself, not bread made by heaven, made by men, Jesus became the food for our lives and gave us because he saw how we are tired. We need that spiritual food. What was in the forbidden tree? It's eye-catching, mind-provoking and tasty. But then for the soul, there's nothing, no nourishment. The more you please yourself with senses, it, will, it, will, it won't do anything for your spiritual journey. But then what should, what, what you have for your spiritual life, spiritual, that spiritual journey, the food that sustains you is the word of God and the Eucharist. And the word becoming flesh, that flesh was in the form of a host. And he gives us that food to be strong in this arduous, hard journey, in this spiritual combat that we are facing. And he's, he's there with us all the time, becoming one with us in our own spiritual life. Think about it and have a nice day. May God bless you.